What's up guys, welcome to Bullish Bets. On this channel, we cover all things related to stocks and investing. We take a look at hidden gems with huge upside potential where we can make some potential big bets. In this video, we're going to talk about Callaway, the golf company. Before we get started, keep in mind that we are not financial advisors and this video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Make sure you do your own research before making any investment decision. So let's talk about Callaway. Now, Callaway has been around since 1982 and recently they've made a big move to merge with Top Golf. And this breaks all the all the traditions, but it's going to take Callaway to the moon. So, before we get into the Top Golf um, acquisition or merger, we call it Let's talk about golf as a sport and the demographics of the people who play golf. Usually people who play golf are people who grew, grew up in middle class, upper middle class, upper class family who can afford to go to their country club on the weekends, take lessons, buy expensive golf clubs, and so forth. And that's why there's not a large amount of players in the market. You know, you usually play with people who are elderly people over 50 40 years old who are retired have nothing else to do you know that's the image of golf and this is causing them to lose a lot of players if we go to look at some stats on uh, look at some stats the amount of participants in the US in 2006 was around 29 million and it dropped to 24 million in 2019 you know, as you can see, this is a trend that shows that golf might be dying. And if someone doesn't adapt or change, uh, golf is going to continually lose players and lose uh, viewership. You know, as you can see, um, Callaway is making the right moves to grow and grow exponentially. The black line right here shows the revenue of Callaway from 2012 to 2019 it looks like an exponential growth and it's compared to Kushnet which is one of the top competitors in you know, golf equipment suppliers uh, they currently own the brands top uh, Titleist and Footjoy you know very good products in in the golf community but what Callaway uh, what type of action plan Callaway is taking is gonna differentiate them from a Kushnet and other golf competitors because they're gonna create a new market for themselves uh, with this Top Golf acquisition. So uh, before the acquisition of Top Golf, Top Golf planned on going public in 2020, but unfortunately COVID hit and they changed their plans. But but before COVID hit, Top Golf was valued or they planned on going public with a valuation of four billion dollars and what makes this great is that Topgolf actually acquired uh, top I'm sorry I'm sorry Callaway actually acquired Topgolf for two billion dollars so they bought them at a discount so if we just take a look at valuation right now uh, Callaway is valued at 2.6 billion dollars if we had taken into account uh, top Top Golf's valuation of four billion dollars—it's already undervalued, you know, with the acquisition. And this is obviously a great play already, without you know any further explanation. This is a buy right now. But let's let's get into it. You know, maybe it got delayed a little because you know it was just acquisition and talks or merger and talks. But as of March third, uh, Wednesday, they actually approved of uh, the acquisition of Topgolf with uh, 67 million votes uh, for and only 41,000 vo votes against. So this is a done deal. You know, this is signed by uh, Topgolf's end and Callaway's end. So this deal is happening and it's just going to take time for, you know, the synergies to take into account and for analysts to see that you know, this is actually a great play. But if you buy in right now, you're buying in at a discount. So let's look at the performer numbers on their 8K that uh, Callaway uh, supplied. So the performer 
uh, revenue for 2020 is around 2.2 uh, million with them two combined and it grows exponentially to 2.7 uh, 3.2 uh, 3.6 and I, I believe this form of revenue accounts for the growth plans that top golf plans to have in terms of you know growing having 60 locations in the US and you know expanding to places like Dubai um, places in like Japan Korea and so forth and this is based on that performa so let's get into uh, top golf and their story and what what they what they have to offer because this is a game changer in terms of changing the golf uh, traditions and golf culture so I'm gonna jump into pa uh, different pages just to show you, you know, what I'm talking about I'm gonna link this in the description below and you can look from there so what makes Top Golf and Callaway a, a good uh, synergistic match is because the golf industry is slowly decaying and Top Golf only mostly brings in non golfers. You know, 70% 70, 70 of the people who go to Top Golf are non golfers, you know, the first time golfers, and you know, and the golf as a sport is having trouble bringing in new players. And with Top Golf, they're constantly bringing new players, and this allows for Callaway to sell their equipment, their golf clubs, their golf balls. Um, their apparel to these top golf players and it, it gives them a great room to cross sell their products and essentially market to people who never experienced golf before and Callaway is going to be the first brand they see and this is going to explode Callaway's business uh, on their end in terms of golf equipment and apparel and we go further down Top, top golf is not only a place, you know, you play golf. It's 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 like a game, you know. It's a place where you spend time with friends and family, and you know, have great food, and so forth. You know, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I tried to go to Top Golf last weekend. Uh, I live in an area that's pretty cold. It, it was around 35, 40 degrees Fahrenheit. You know, that's almost freezing temperature, and we gave him a call uh, to potentially set up a time, but you know, no one was answering the phone. So we just decided, you know what, we're, we're just going to go, uh, go in and see uh, if it's, if it's packed, you know, who in the right mind thought that top golf would have been packed at 35 degrees temperatures. You know, that's not golfing temperatures. So when I went in, I asked, I asked the hostess, you know, how long is the wait? And can you believe what she told me? She told me the wait was going to be six hours. You know, we that that was longer than the opening time of Top Golf. You know, this this shows that you know Top Golf is extremely busy, and people are gonna go and play, and it's attracting a lot of new players, which gives Callaway a lot of room to sell the products to. So, Top Golf is essentially bowling for golf. You know, they created a game for it where you add points and stuff. It's changing the game of golf. You know, it's not traditional golf with your uh, 18 holes, with your par one, par three, par four type of thing. You're, it's a game where you could play with friends and family where it's, you know, you could take your kids, you know, you take your friends, you know, have a company outing and people who, who don't really even play golf can have fun. And that's why this, this is a great vehicle to bring people more into the golf uh, culture. And this solves the problem of the decaying amount of participants within golf. You know, Top Golf gives Callaway this room. And on top of that, there are memberships uh, that you get from Top Golf once you sign in. They give you a membership card uh, where you, you know, pay for your golf balls and stuff. And this gives room for uh, Callaway to cross sell. You know, they could sell their hats and gloves and everything and balls to these type of uh, these people and these customers that they don't have to waste marketing dollars on. And they already know they're new to the community. And the first brand they're going to see is Callaway. And it's going to build a lot of 
brand awareness and brand loyalty uh, where uh, probably a cushion at Titleist, uh, Ping and FootJoy can't bring in because they don't have this platform that Callaway just acquired. So on top of that, you know, Topgolf had some recent big news too where they just they decided to partner with BetMGM. So not only is Topgolf uh, a place to eat, play uh, play a game of golf style uh, bowling, golf style bowling, they're allowed to spend a lot of time gambling now. You know, it's just a whole new market where you can make a lot of money. You know, that's the best combination: drunk people, drunk adults, gambling, and essentially playing bowling together. You know, it's gonna be a new culture, a new market that Callaway has uh, the resources to to get into. And let's go back to the valuation of Cal uh, Callaway. You know, it's currently valued at 2.6 billion dollars right now, and uh, 2.6 billion dollars market cap and the enterprise value of 3.1. You know, uh, even before the merger. Uh, announcement of of Top Golf, Callaway's was around twenty dollars. You know, if you think the acquisition of Cal uh, of Top Golf only increased the price of Callaway by eight dollars, uh, it's not a good bet for you. But in our eyes, you know, Top Golf was going to go public for four billion dollars. Callaway, with the acquisition now, should be worth at least four billion dollars, and that. This leaves them to a price point of at least $40. So if the analyst decides to you know, price in the Topgolf acquisition, which is already approved on both sides, Callaway is going to shoot up. So let us, let us know what you think. And if you think the Topgolf acquisition really doesn't make that much difference in the Callaway's fun fundamental business value, or do you think that Callaway is going to go to the moon because they, they're positioned to dominate the golf industry and create a new market for themselves? So that's, that's all for this video. Uh, thank you for taking the time to listen to us. Um, if you liked our content, you know, please subscribe and give us a thumbs up. You know, we really appreciate it as it helps with the YouTube algorithm. You know, thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for the next one.